the beauty of new marks chart uh, i will tell you this chart can be used this chart the, uh, this means here new marks influence chart can be used can be used for determining vertical stress determining vertical stress okay this is also in numar chart is also meant for determining vertical stress due to applied load due to applied load of any shape this we are trying to highlight any shape so someone can ask me uh, any shape means you see you were loaded area uh, actually you know that we have seen square footing we have seen rectangular footings we have seen circular footings but you see here the shape is square your shape is rectangular your shape is circular but this particular uh, numerics can be used for loaded area of any shape loaded area applied load uh, instead of applied load it's good to write loaded area of any shape loaded area of any shape it may be square it may be rectangular it may be circular so if it is of any shape your loaded area of any shape you can use numerics chart that is the main importance of numerics chart so coming to the way the new mark chart is developed uh, let me explain you uh, it won't take much time and now the thing is uh, we are going to prepare new mark chart okay now if you decided to construct new mark chart construction of new mark chart construction of new mark chart what we need to do now here you see we have to draw circles we need to draw circles uh, the thing is here you see so while you are drawing these uh, circles so one thing you need to keep in your mind that is you see here i will tell you i this is a n i suffix n you can easily guess what i am saying influence value in case of new marks new marks influence value so this i can write now new marks influence factor now it is one by number of concentric circles into 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 number of sectors so we are going to draw circles in the name of new marks influence chart so what we are going to do i am going to draw circles so now uh, i will tell you i will tell you how many circles we are going to draw uh, here you see influence value in is equal to i decided to draw myself actually it is your choice but in my case i am trying to select 10 circles and each circle i am going to divide into sectors so uh, so here you see i am dividing each concentric circle into 20 parts 20 sectors so what is the answer is this undoubtedly in is equal to 1 by 200 uh, 1 by 200 gives 0.00, .00 0 i think 1 by 2 is 0.5 so 05 so this is in in means influence new marks influence factor now let us draw the figure now 1 2 3 so i decided to draw 10 circles so maybe it may this sheet may not be sufficient even in books also we used to see uh, when uh, people drawing uh, numerical chart it's very difficult to draw uh, maybe due to so i will do one thing so here you see now the discussion is about radius of the each circle so now uh, i need to draw radius here R one, R two, like this. R three, R four, 
R5. So no doubt uh, I can go up to R9. Now the thing is, uh, if you, this is ninth circle. Okay, but uh, don't attempt to draw 10th circle, R10. Why? Because R10 is infinity. R10 is infinity. So that's why no book, no book shows a 10th circle because the radius of the 10th circle is infinity. As the radius of the 10th circle is infinity, so we cannot accommodate 10th circle in the chart. This figure is new mark chart. This figure is new mark chart. Uh, new mark chart. Actually, when you are preparing new mark chart, uh, we need to uh, draw the circles as a part of construction of new mark chart. So I decided to consider 10 circles, but uh, don't ask me where is the 10th circle. The radius of the 10th circle is infinity. That's why I'm not able to draw. Now the thing is, uh, each circle is divided into 20 parts. So if you see this quarter, uh, this is first quadrant, second quadrant. See, if you're dividing the circle into 20 parts means, you can expect now one, two, three, uh, tangled, I think. Uh, I have successfully completed, I think. Now, in the similar way, uh, you can see now, uh, one, again, you can see two, Again, you can see three. So again, you can see four. So now you see, uh, if you count the number, you have one, two, three, uh, four. I think one more is there. But yes, it is four, five. So now each quadrant, I have uh, five circles, uh, five sectors. So five plus five plus five plus five. Obviously, it is 20 because four quadrants are there. So now it is the sector now. This is the sector. One can see now. This is the sector. Now, what we have to what we have to do now is we need to we need to draw the loaded area, whatever your square footing, whatever your rectangular footing. So you need to draw here. You need to draw. So and now you see while you are drawing, you need to take a tracing paper. So you need to draw the figure on tracing paper. Now uh, we can able to. Uh, calculate you see if you want stress uh, at this particular point you keep that point uh, at the center of the new marks chart so where we want to calculate the stress at what point you keep that point at the center of the new mark chart now what we have to do now we need to count we need to count number of number of loaded units number of loaded units covered by loaded area here you see here one two three four five six uh seven eight so nine ten like that so how many see how much portion uh, how many uh, loaded blocks uh, is occupied by the loaded area this is your uh, rectangular footing loaded area is rectangular footing so what i'm doing now i'm counting now here you see the number of loaded block blocks is uh, number of uh, loaded blocks is 11. Now uh, the discussion is about calculation of vertical stress. Calculation of vertical stress. Now the vertical stress you can able to calculate now by this is the formula to calculate vertical stress. Now someone can ask me what is I n? Uh, I will tell you new marks influence value. Someone can ask me what is n? The number of loaded blocks. The number of Q is intensity of loading. Intensity of loading. So this is the formula we are using to calculate vertical stress. But the thing is, uh, when you are plotting this uh, radius, uh, this particular uh, new mark start. So, for example, you are drawing first circle with radius R1. So, it is sometimes uh, of Z, R2, it is sometimes of Z. So, like that we need to draw. And also, someone can ask me, oh, sir, how to, how to, how to take Z? See, Z, you have to take as a scale. Here, this chart is drawn to the depth scale. Depth scale. This chart is drawn to the depth scale 
Now we can able to draw. For example, let me say Z is one meter. Radius is R one is equal to one into. Uh, let me tell you, R one is equal to R one is equal to Z is one. So I will tell you the multiplication factor. Just now I will tell you the multiple. Give me some time. So then R two, R two is equal to R two is equal to uh, sometimes one meter. Because I have considered that is one meter. So please keep in your mind when you are drawing the numeric chart with different radius R one, R two, R three, R four, R five, R six, R seven, R eight, R nine. But don't tell me, don't ask me about R ten because R ten is infinite. So what I would like to tell you, if R one by Z, I got some value. Now how to draw R one? R one is equal to this multi this multiplication. I will tell you that is one meter. So this is the way we draw R1, R2, R3. Now divide each uh, circle into 20 sectors, so equal parts. Uh, then uh, you will get increase value one by 10 into 20. Once again, I will tell you, 10 is number of circles, 20 is number of sectors. So you are getting I n value, I n value. But in gate examination, they will change the number of circles and sectors. So because uh, when you are uh, appearing for the uh, repeated examination like gate, they will change the question. That's why I am telling you. Yeah, ten means circles, concentric circles. Each have its own radius r one, r two. Again, I will tell you up to r ten. So each circle is divided into twenty parts. So what we have to do now? We need to calculate vertical stress. Vertical stress is equal to I n into n into Q. Now someone can ask me what is I n? I n means Q marks influence value. In our case, it is point zero zero five. Now number of loaded blocks. Number of loaded blocks. I will tell you. Draw your your footing on the new mark chart, but when you are drawing, keep this point in your mind. So you you have to keep your uh, point. Uh, it is at the it should be uh, it should be uh, it should be in touch with the center of the circle. Now what we have to do after drawing the footing? See for example, your footing square footing two meter by two meter. I have taken one meter square, so this will be two. This will be two. Now, after drawing this, try to count, try to count the number of sectors covered by the loaded area. Try to count the number of sectors. So here I got eleven. So my answer will be, uh, I will tell, I will try to write it is eleven. So let me assume the intensity of loading is two two hundred kilopascal. So I am getting influence uh, chart. Here you see, yeah, I will show you now. I have time now. Uh, now I have time. Here you see now. Uh, this is the way I use it to prepare the new mark chart. Here you see, uh, as I told you, 20 sectors, 20 sectors. See now each has its own radius r1. Now I will tell you how to calculate r1. See, uh, the idea is we divided entire circle. You know how to calculate stress due to circular load. Sigma z is equal to q into one minus cos cube theta. So now I want to calculate this radius now, small a, small a, which is equal to r1. See if I want to use radius r1. Now you see, I am trying to calculate vertical stress. I am trying to calculate vertical stress due to one sector. Due to one sector. Now I am not uh, ready to write q into one minus cos cube theta. Now I am writing q by twenty. Q by twenty. So now I can able to get q by twenty into one minus one by one plus r1 by z whole square because our study is limited to one sector. One sector, one sector. That's why one sector imposes a low uh, stress uh, sigma z by twenty. Now I want to calculate this r one. I want to calculate this r one. Let me tell you, if you want to calculate r one, what we have to do? We have to equate whatever this uh, q by twenty. I will write here. Uh, this you we are having q by twenty into one minus one by one plus. R1 by Z square because I want to calculate R1 now. Uh, all power uh, 3 by 2. Okay, this I would like to equate to 1 into 1 into 0.005 into Q. See, this is our answer. See, just now we discussed here. You see, just now we discussed I into N into Q. Here you see I is. As we know, we are using ten circles, and each circle is divided into twenty parts, equal parts. So here you see sixty-two number of loaded units. That's it. 
here i am having only one loaded unit that's why i am writing 1 into 0 0.005 into q now i am normalizing it now i can get r1 by z which is equal to here you see r1 by z here uh, the entire calculation is there here you see 0.27 now, if someone wants to calculate, if someone wants to calculate R2 by Z, R2 by Z, here you see, I will show you, Q by 20, 1 minus 1 plus R2 by Z square, all power 3 by 2 is equal to, can anyone help me now, 2 into 0 0.005 into Q. So, you can ask me why I am writing 2. The reason is very simple. The reason is very simple. Why I am using 2? Here you see, this time we are at the second circle. So our sector is now extended. Our sector is extended now. So I am getting double now. That's why I am writing two times. Now the influence is double. So uh, now I can write now 2 into 0 0.0. So similarly, if someone tried to calculate for the 10th circle, I will show you because uh, uh, I'm, I have all calculation here. You see, R1 by Z is 0.27 r2 by z is 0 0.40 r3 by z is 0.5 by 2 but i would like to tell you this r means radius so i have new work start but don't ask me for r10 again i will tell you it is infinite now you can see any book uh, you can open any book with r1 r2 you can see nine circles but they are saying we used 10 circles they can't show you the 10th circle okay now the take depth scale your scale is in terms of depth now i have r1 r2 r2 r3 so you can able to show your loaded area now count the number of loaded area originally covered by the loaded area number of blocks covered by the loaded area loaded area means footing so this is a question uh, answer finally what i would like to tell you sigma z is equal to i into n into q this is the way we will calculate vertical stress in case of new marks chart so the only uh, issue in this particular uh, topic is we need to draw circles. We need to draw circles. While drawing the circle, you need this R1, R2, R2. Uh, so you can able to get it. There is no issue. You can get it. I'm very sure. You just see this uh, derivation. Uh, uh, so from that you can get, but don't forget to write Q by 20 because we divided, as you know, we divided the each circle into 20 parts. Remember that point. So from that I can get, if you are calculating R2, multiply with 2. If you are calculating R3, don't forget to multiply with 3. If you are calculating R10, you don't forget to multiply with 10. But when you are multiplying with 10, you will be surprised to see R10 is infinity. You will, you will definitely get this R10 is infinity when you are discussing with, uh, when you are multiplying with 10. 